Also in the news, Israel is finally seeing a possible end to a political impasse that uh, led to four elections in two years. But it means that Israel's longest serving leader, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, is about to be toppled because eight parties have formed a coalition to control 61 out of 120 Knesset seats. Plus TV Africa's Aneta Felix has more. On June 2nd, right-wing nationalist Naftali Bennett, opposition leader Yair Lapid, leader of the United Arab List Mansour Abbas, and five other party leaders agreed to form a new anti-Netanyahu coalition government. They call it the government of change. Political analyst Achike Chudi welcomes the move and strikes out the possibility of a major policy shift in Israel. I don't think it's uh, going to have any fundamental effect on uh, the political climate except for the fact that, fact that you're going to have uh, a change of government. You would expect some form of continuity of governance and uh, that would ensure that uh, you will not see any radical shift, any radical change in the politics of Israel. But international affairs analyst Paul Ejime questions the motives of the new coalition. The bedfellows uh, just coming, um, coming together. If it is uh, just to remove uh, one man, uh, then it will not last. That will be um, a mistake because um, if it is just to, uh, against him, and when he goes, uh, when he's uh, true now, then what happens? Then they begin to struggle. So it is, um, it is a case of um, wait and see. The parliament will meet in the coming days to vote on the new coalition government. Netanyahu has vowed to fight on to turn things around, but should they downplays the likelihood of that happening? It would appear that the pendulum has swung in favor of Yair Lagin, uh, who has been able to put up a, a, a coalition a alliance of a, a centrist, a leftist, and rightist. And so Netanyahu obviously has found himself at sea. If the coalition goes through, right-wing nationalist Naftali Bennett will serve as prime minister for the first two years. Then he will pass the baton to centrist Yair Lapid in what will be the most diverse government in Israel's history. Aneta Felix, PLUS TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.